Hi guys, this is me, the Boss Gamer, and today bringing you another video for you guys. So this is video we're going to be how to install a skip extender for Skyrim Special Edition. So I'm going to show you this step by step how to install this uh, skip extender for your game. So uh, last year I made this video. I said when the the beta version comes out, I will make a tutorial. So yeah, guys. So I'm bringing you this tutorial for you. So previously it was in like an alpha stage. So now it's much more stable. This version are and much better. So let's start with this tutorial. So first thing is I'm going to leave the link of this website under the description under the, uh, the video. So go ahead guys and check it out. So what you need is you need this second link in here called SC. This uh, above one for the legendary Skyrim Legendary Edition. This one for Skyrim Special Edition. You need this one. So click this and download it. I will not click this because I already did that. Also, you need the 7-zip archive. You can just select here if you don't have archive. I already have the archive. You can do it whatever you want. So, yeah. So, when you have it, just uh, drag this one to your desktop in here. Describe files. And there it is. Open up. So, you want to go to your game. So, if you have only one hard disk you will be in your local disk i have another hard disk for my games called pc games so i just put all my games in here when i buy them from the steam so all you have to do is just go to steam steam to steam apps come in and go to your skyrim special edition and i already have a skyrim a latest version of that so all you have to do just so you don't need to you can basically copy and paste all of them these and copy paste there but the problem is if in the future if you don't want to play with mods uh, you cannot remove data files so we're going to uninstall and reinstall through nexus mod manager through this data file so i'm going to ch choose from src to your skc 64 bit st steam loader so yeah you can choose uh, sorry for this choose this one and put, copy and put, paste there I'm going I'm not going to do that because I already did this so yeah it's so simple after that you did that all you have to do is just choose your SKSC 64 loader here then send to your desktop in here I'm not going to do that you do it because I already have here there, there it is I made my shortcut in desktop so I already did it so I'm not going to do it the second time so when you did that what you have to do just close this one then go to your data at your archive go to 7-zip right click 7-zip archive and name it whatever I'm going to name it to SKSC SKSC go and name it 64-bit uh, 2.7 version so yeah in the future if you have like 1.8 so you know this is you have all the version there is a new version so yeah go so 7 I'm going to call it version so this is 2.7 and yours version you can name whatever you want in here this is your choice so yeah Just click ok and there it is so you want to drag this one outside this is uh, the archive and close this one you have to open your nexus mod manager press ok then what you have to do is just click this and this archive you created from a uh, data file drag it in here just drag it and let go that's it then you, you may find it here you can search through this mods if you don't have too many mods you'll find it if you don't find it where you have to go just is the simplest way to find it just go, go to unassigned here to unassigned just expand this and you find it here there it is i already activated for you you will not be activated just activate it and install this data file and that's it so simple then after that just close that then when you made this shortcut you will not be like you, you don't see this icon in here how to change this icon just go to here properties go to shortcut and change the icon go to your game go to your browse go to your game in here select this SCIT open and press ok apply and ok again and you should change the icon to skyrim icon in here so yeah so simple then you, uh, after that just go to your game and that's it guys just run your game through script extender just uh, 
double click in it and that's it this is it how to install the script extender so guys if you have any type of questions or or, or you want to ask me specific things about mods or uh, about installation so guys uh, do not forget to leave your questions in the comment section below the video if you have any type of question just leave them in the comment like i said before do not forget to subscribe like the video share with your friends and uh, i hope you like the video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'm going to see you guys later and peace